Okay, today we're going to have a quick look at how to set up an abseil when we're in the mountains. So we get to the top of the climb, you've set up the belay. I get to the belay and I clip in with the cow's tail into my belay. I'm going to clip into those two loops there. That's just a simple sling with a knot in the middle there, clipping into the two links. If one of them was to fail, both of them are good. Obviously, if you think your belay is going to fail, you probably shouldn't use it. Okay, but there we go. So I'm safe on the belay. I come off the rope, I thread the rope, and I tie it into uh, a mayo or a carabiner that's going to be left in place. Okay, I check that the two ends of the rope are long enough before I do anything. Uh, I'm ready to go. So now I'm going to transfer myself from my cow's tail here onto the two ropes. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my prosec. I'm going to hold on to the knot and I'm going to wrap that around and around about six or seven times in what's called a French prusik. This is a, a friction system on the rope that's going to act as a brake for when we're abseiling. So it just goes round and round and then I'm going to clip the two ends together and I'm going to clip those into my harness here and screw that up. That's going to be the brake on the system. Okay, the way it works is if I push it it moves if I hang on it it locks okay so I can push it both ways up and down and it's uh, it will move both ways so we can use that for climbing the rope and for going down the rope okay from there next thing I'm going to pull up a little bit of slack and I'm going to set up my abseil device okay and I'm going to go that is about halfway up the sling it wants to be around here where I can see it. You can see it all happening, but it's not in the way and it's not too close to the prusik. So from here, I take this device here. It has a little image in there that tells you to the climber at the top or always at the top. Take the two brands of cord, thread them through there. And again, attach those into there and screw that up. So that's the normal belay device, just works goes down the rope there okay and this one here the process is going to be the brake so next I'm going to bring this up the rope and I'm going to transfer my weight from the cow's tail from the sling here onto this rope here so what I want to try and do is come in a little closer to the system and without undoing anything here so I'm always safe I take the abseil device to the top of the rope and I bring the brake up as well just under the abseil device and now as I lean back you can see that my cow's tail is now redundant to the system so I'm hanging on this system here I can see that everything's working everything's screwed up before I undo my safety of the cow's tail so once I'm happy with that I can undo that and undo that now the last thing to note is that which when we get down there which of the ropes I'm going to need to pull to retrieve the rope so here the knots this side so I'm going to pull the pink one to get the tail of the rope through and back down to the next stance so from here I want to remember I'm pulling pink and the little tip here is if you just take the cow's tail there just clip it around the rope that you're going to pull and then when you get down there if you've forgotten what you were pulling you can remember that from there all I need to do is I put my hand on the top of the prusik and as I release that it will release me onto the belay device and off I go.